Hello and thank you for watching. This video is going to be a quick demonstration on voltage drop and how to find it using the Load Pro test leads. These test leads are capable of delivering a 40 milliamp load to a circuit with the press of this button. It's a real quick way to find high resistance in circuits by simply unplugging the connector at the load, inserting positive and positive, negative into negative, and pinning the button. I'll show you how that works, and also I'm going to show you why the ohm meter stinks at finding high resistance in circuits. Before I demonstrate this voltage drop, I'm going to talk about five voltage readings that uh, we must know and understand. we got to know what our meter is telling us and what we're reading. The first one I'm going to talk about is what's called full exact system voltage, which is uh, what you see at the battery. Right now we are seeing 12.75 volts at the battery. And um, if you see that anywhere in the circuit, that means the circuit's open. Circuit at each connector is going to drop a certain amount of voltage. And the uh, maximum allowable voltage, a rule of thumb for 12 volt system, is half a volt. And for um, 24 volt systems, it's one. Okay, with the circuit loaded, battery voltage now, reading 12.68 volts. So I'm going to start at the fuse. drop 0.2 or 0.3 volts and we're going to go to connector 1 another drop 0.1 another drop of 0.1 and now it's at 12.63 and the load uh, theoretically is supposed to drop 100% of the available voltage given to it, um, except a little bit in some circumstances. We're going to read it at the load until 0 0.113 volts are left. So what is that 1,000 of a volt? And on the ground side, we're seeing very, very similar. So it's dropping okay move move on to what the circuit looks like when it's open disconnect it on here battery voltage 12.67 go to the fuse That the uh, voltage is stabilizing, so that's why it went from 6.7 to 6.8. So you can see um, if you read full exact system voltage anywhere in the circuit, um, it's going to be indicating an open. And next, what we want to see is full system voltage, which is the normal uh, voltage drop. You saw earlier and the second uh, fundamental reading is almost full system voltage which what I demonstrated earlier is a normal volt drop through a loaded circuit 
So let's do that one more time. 12.65, first connector, 6162, 61, 61. Okay, number three is the uh, corrosion factor or high resistance. And that's less than full system voltage, of course. So what I'm going to do is I am going to put a 1 ohm re resistor in series. And last but not least is what's called ghost voltage. And if you see this, you also have open circuit ghost voltage or widely changing voltages mean that you're reading open circuit. Um, it's really noticeable on the uh, millivolt scale. As you can tell, readings are jumping all over the place. And that is because a magnetic field that's uh, in the atmosphere is actually inducing voltage into these test leads. And that's why we're reading ghost voltage. Okay, I'm to the point where I'm going to add that 1 ohm resistor into the circuit. Um, the circuit right now with the high of the bulb on is drawing 2.1 amps. And I'm um, just going to go through the circuit real quick. 12.3, 3. 0.28, still dropping, normal circuit operation right now, we're going to go to the negative to see if the load dropped everything, and theoretically the load is supposed to drop everything, the load primarily dropped everything, it's only 3 tenths of a volt, so um, we're going to add that resistor. I'm going to add it into the negative side. Okay, the 1 ohm resistor is in series with the negative. We're going to see what happens. We're going to read 0.62 with fuse. 6-2 connector 1, 6-2 connector 2, 6-2 connector 3, coming out of the load, 12.62, so we're still reading full system voltage, which is electrical potential, and we're going to come on the other side, the resistance, and uh, it's 0 volts. So just by conventional um, voltage drop by just using your meter and your test leads and just by reading your meter uh, we have concluded the segment in which the, re the resistance is in. Now just grab a wiring schematic from Mitchell all data whatever you may have or just use your uh, noodle and uh, find it yourself and right now I'm going to show you uh, just if you read if you try reading across the uh, resistance with your test leads um, just uh, negative on one side positive on the other side um, you can still read 12.65 volts and that's because current is not flowing because of this resistance so with your voltmeter leads you just missed the problem And with the circuit loaded, I'm using my own meter right now. I'm going across the resistance. And what do you know? We missed the problem again. And this very problem, not being able to measure the resistance across the resistance with the circuit loaded, it's one of the reasons why the ohm meter really um, stinks for doing voltage drop tests. Um, the ohmmeter is uh, used for static tests on uh, testing stuff like solenoids, relays, motors, stuff with a specific static 
uh, resistance. Fuel injectors. The next voltage reading I'm going to talk about is true zero volts, also known as continuity. If the meter reads true zero volts, then you have continuity. That's what it looks like. Piece of wire, look from end to end, Add true zero volts. Of course, you got to have your uh, meter set on the ohm scale, and you can put on the beeper to tell you and that's continuity okay now it's time to load the circuit with the load pro dynamic test leads um, right now for demonstration purposes I have um, it T pinned to the back of the connector so I don't have to be a uh, contortionist and try to hold my test probes and so on and so forth so this is easy um, it gives the same uh, results for a look so, positive, positive, negative, negative, you want to hit the button, hold it for no longer than 5 to 8 seconds between tests, so 0.311, so 0.3 volts. Um, and since we read system voltage, um, and it dropped, that means we have high resistance or corrosion, but if no, then the wire is clean. And then we have to move to something else. But in this circumstance, it's not clean. So the next step is to move the black probe to a clean ground. So we're going to take this and move it to the battery, which I have over here. Okay, since the uh, negative is now on a clean ground, we want to see if the voltage drops again. And if it stays up, and the high resistance is in the ground. And if the voltage drops again, the high resistance or corrosion is in the positive. So, twelve point six from twelve point seven. Do that again. So it dropped about a tenth of a volt. So that concludes that the resistance is in the negative side of the circuit so grab a schematic do whatever you want to do just use your eyes and your brain and follow wires and look for uh, connectors with corrosion and pot and the you know basic things black grounds and all that great stuff so uh, happy trails and happy findings